Well it all starts with the starting pitching and again the starter tonight is Pablo Lopez 11th start this season leading off the game facing Pablo Lopez and now panic swings and muscles one into left field that's going to get down base hit. So Joe Panic is aboard once again with a leadoff single. Sandoval waiting for the next one. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out and he got through the first unscathed. Sandoval down on strikes. No runs. One hit and one left. And the Marlins coming to bat. Taking the map for the Giants tonight. Making his 12th start is Madison Bumgarner. Got him. And that'll end the inning. Bumgarner goes to first. Already runners at second and third so they're loaded for Joe Panic. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ground ball to the shortstop. Rojas scoops it up, throws it over to first base, and that's all for Panic and the Giants strand three base runners. 6 to 3 to retire the Giant leadoff hitter Joe Panic. Got to learn how to hit at home. To right field sends Pilar back and he will play it off the wall. Al Faro on his way to second, trying to get in there with a two-out double. Another two-base hit <laughs> for Jorge Alfaro. <laughs> the one-two. Got him, and that'll end the inning. One burner ready to go. Off the third base side of the rubber. Two-two to Dean is a line shot into right field for a base hit. Pilar's over to cut it off, and Austin Dean singles to start the Marlins third. Line a base hit to left center field. Dean around second on his way to third. We'll get there. And the Marlins have him on the corners with one out in the third. Castro out to left. Yastrzemski there tagging Dean on his way home. Oh, one nothing Marlins lead on the sacrifice fly from Starlin Castro. Well, everybody doing their job here in the third inning. Marlins are leading one nothing. Is Brandon Belt stands in now? Belt skies one to right center field. Ramirez all the way back at the wall. It is gone. Up over 392. Brandon Belt has tied the game. He likes Miami. Nice job. Let out some shaft number nine. Show bun again. And he bunts it, third base side pose, he's got it. He picks it up, he throws the third for one. Sandoval couldn't get the ball out of his glove. He fakes it to first. They got the runner at second. Rojas in a rundown, and coming over is Panic at second base who makes the tag. How about that? Posey got off behind the plate quickly. They got the out there. Sandoval with a double clutch. He couldn't get the out at first. But the back runner Rojas rounded the bag too far at second. Panic, Crawford, and Sandoval all to the left of second base. Belt the lone defender on the right side. Bumgarner looking in, and he agrees with Posey in the one-two pitch. It's strike three call on the inside corner. Anderson not happy, and that's going to end the inning. Third strikeout for Bumgarner after five. Here's a ball crushed, hit into the air to left, but... Getting back there and getting under it. Austin Dean puts the squeeze on it. Belt is out. Three up, three down. Nice work being turned in here by Pablo Lopez. Bottom of the sixth inning. The pitch. Prado drives one to right, but Pilar's waiting. He's there. He makes the catch, and that ends the inning. And Bumgarner will take it. That's a quick inning. We played six innings. It's one to one. 0-2 to Crawford is line to right over toward the line. Cooper dives for it. Did he catch it? Yes, he did. Garrett Cooper, full extension. Diving to his left, he made the play. Great effort by Cooper. Catches it just off the outfield grass. Good read. Look at the concentration. Didn't even blink. So when he picks it off the grass, does that make it surf and turf? Yeah. Good. Here's Curtis Granderson to pinch it. He'll take a pinch hit, base hit here. Rounding second, heading toward third is Alfaro. Pilar gets it in quick. That keeps Grandy at first, but the Marlins have him on the corners. Another pinch hitter off the bench as Neil Walker. And to it, that's a base hit down the right field line. Alfaro's going to score. Curtis Granderson being held at third on the RBI. Double from Neil Walker. A pinch hit Ribby and the Marlins take a 2-1 lead. Well, the veteran bench bats getting it done tonight. And a 3-1 coming to Coop. In the air right field, Pilar gathers himself, makes the catch. Granderson coming home. Here's the throw. And it's a sacrifice fly for Garrett Cooper. Marlins take a 3-1 lead. Look at Castro, Ramirez, and Prado against Dyson in the eighth. Line to center, and that one gets by. Dunner in center. Castro on his way to third. He was denied a three-base hit last night. Not tonight. Starlin Castro with the first triple of the year for the Marlins, and that 
That's how the eighth inning begins. The Marlins first triple of the season. It took until the eighth inning of game number 53 for the Marlins to finally come up with their first three base hit of the year. 1 0 pitch and a line drive base hit right field for Ramirez the hitting streaks at nine in a row for the Marlins the lead is four to one in from third base Castro Marlins add on in the eighth. Belt rolls it slowly a run's going to come in. And, uh, they get the out at second which was a bit risky. But Anderson did get an out for sure. If they can hang on they would take the first two from the Giants here it comes swung on and missed it's a Marlins win. Sergio Romo picks up the save a 4 2 win for Miami and they do in fact take the first two games of this three game set against the Giants.